Hello dear students, in this part of the video, we are going to discuss the combination of resistors. In the last session, that means in Ohm's law part, we got a clear idea about resistors. So resistance means it is the property of a conductor to resist. Okay, so if I am going to join two wires of different resistance, what will be its effect? So joining means you know that there are different ways of connecting two wires or two or more wires. So that's what we are going to discuss in this session. This is again an important part. That means the combination of what? Resistors. So let's check resistance of a system of resistors. System of resistors. System means there can be n number of resistors you can join. So let us start with, do you remember the symbolic representation of a resistor? See, this is what the symbolic representation of a resistor. Let's check. This is our first resistor. You can see its resistance value is taken as what? R1. So there is a resistor. Resistor means it's a wire having a resistance what? R1. R1 ohm. See, for example, 10 ohm. So I have a piece of wire of resistance R1. Okay. Now I'm going to take one more resistor. Its resistance is R2. It can be a, a similar value. Like if this is 10 ohm, it can be 10 ohm or it can be a different value also. Like this is 10, this is 20. Okay, so whatever it is. Now I'm going to take one more. So total I have how many resistors? Three resistors. We can combine thousands of resistors, hundreds of resistors, no issue. So for our understanding, we are going to take three resistors. What are the values? R1, R2, R3. Okay, yes. Now we are going to connect these resistors together. Look, R1 is connected to R2. R2 is connected to R3. Now we can see that these are just like we are joining three wires together, right? R1 is connected to R2 is connected to R3. So it's a combination. It's a combination of three resistors, R1, R2 and R3. Okay. Then we are going to connect this entire combination across a battery. So there is a battery. We are going to join. We are going to complete the circuit. Look at that. The circuit is completed. Okay, right. Now, when the circuit is completed, the circuit is on means surely the current will be flowing. So let us assume the current I is starting from the positive terminal of the battery. The current is flowing. You know that it is from positive to negative like this. So the same current only will be flowing through all the resistors because there is no other way for the current to be like current is same everywhere. Here it is I mean I, 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 I everywhere the current is what same then we can say that the resistors are connected in series. So this combination, this type of combination of resistors is called what? Series combination of resistors. So R1, R2, R3 all are connected in what? Series. Okay, so hope you understand what a series. One end of the resistor is connected to another one. That and the other end is connected to the third one. Like that if you are joining, that combination is called what? series combination. So here R1, R2, R3 are connected in series. Now my dear students, a very, very, very important point. You just keep this idea in your mind, then this derivation will be very, very easy for you. In series combination, whatever component you are connecting in series, the current will be the same. Series connection means this, this, this are in series means if 10 ampere current is flowing through this, this will be 10 ampere, this will also be 10 ampere. Current through all the resistors will be same. It's a very, very important point. In series combination, current is same. Okay, so I is the current flowing through this. Now, what is our aim? Our aim is what will be its total resistance? That's a question. If this is 10, this is 20, this is 30, if you are going to connect like this, what will be the total resistance of the circuit? That's what our aim. So for that, this is our battery. Let us take the potential that we are offering. The potential difference of the battery as what? V. V is the applied voltage. We are giving a voltage of what? V. Understood? Yes. If V is the applied voltage, look, R1, R2, R3, R3 resistors connected in series and current is same. Current is same, but resistance are different, which means the voltage across these three resistance will be different. So let us assume V1 as the voltage across what? The first resistor, V2 as what? Second resistor and V3 as what? The th I mean, uh, second voltage and V3 as what? Third voltage. Third voltage in the sense potential difference. So please note that in series combination, current is same. Current is same, but voltage, potential differences are different. So we are taking V1 as the potential across 
R1, V2 as the potential across R2, V3 as the potential across R3. That idea is clear now. Now, what is our aim? Our aim is to find the effective resistance, the total resistance. If you are combining these three in series, what will be the total resistance? Let us assume that total resistance as what? R. R. That means if you are combining R1, R2, R3, we are getting a total resistance of R. That means now I can redraw this diagram in a simple way. This is the new circuit. What I am doing here is cell battery as it is here, it's V. You can see V volt. But instead of drawing these three resistors showing like this, we are just showing it by a single resistor of resistance what R. What does it mean? This is the effective resistance of these three. Our aim is to calculate R value. You got it? We are going to calculate R, R in terms of R1, R2 and R3. Very simple derivation dear students. Again, what is the voltage? V. Here also V. What is the current here? I. So here also the current will be I. Because it's the same circuit only. It is not a different circuit. It is the same circuit. Only one difference is instead of showing 3, we are just showing it as what? One resistor. Now, voltage is V. Current is I. Resistance is R. What is Ohm's law mathematical formula? V is equal to I into R. We are just writing here. V is equal to I into R. Okay. Keep that formula in your mind. V is equal to what? I into R. Now, when come to this circuit, what is our applied voltage? V. V is the voltage that we are giving. But that V... When comes here, it's split into three parts. V1 is there, V2 is there, V3 is there. That means the applied voltage, whatever value you are giving here, that splits into three parts. Which means, if you are going to add these three, if you are going to add these three, you will get what? V. That means, V will be equal to what? V1 plus V2 plus V3. V is equal to what? V1 plus V2 plus V3. Hope you understand that concept clearly. This is applied voltage. For example, if it is 100 volt, some voltage drop will be there across this one. Some voltage will be lost. Some will be lost across this and the remaining will be across this. So if it is 20, this is 30. So total 50 then plus 50. So 20 plus 30 plus 50 is equal to 100. That's what the logic. So V is equal to what? V1 plus V2 plus V3. Clear? Yes. Now V, what is V? The total voltage. From here we got V is equal to IR. Just I am going to substitute. V is equal to what? I into R. V is equal to I into R. What will be V1? Look, V1, according to Ohm's law, again, V is equal to IR. But for V1, what is the resistor here? It's R1. And what is the current through that? I. So, V1 will be what? I into R1. V1 is equal to I into R1. What will be V2 then? V2 will be I into R2. IR2. V3 is what? I into R3. Remember, V is IR. V1 is IR1. V2 is IR2. V3 is what? I R3. Understood or not? Yes. IR is equal to IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3. That's it. What is our aim? We need to find R value, right? Effective resistance. R. I is common in all the terms will be cancelled out. So, look at the final result. R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. That's it. R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Which means, once again, if this is 10 ohm, this is 20 ohm, this is 30 ohm, what will be the total resistance? 10 plus 20, 30 plus 30, 60 ohm. So, we can simply add the resistances. In series combination, final result is very simple, dear students. Resistance is the sum of individual resistors. R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. If there are more than three resistors, you can keep on adding them. R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus etc, etc, etc. You will get the total resistance. Clear or not? So, what is the idea means? By combining the resistors, we can increase. The actual resistance will increase. If you have 5 resistors, each of 10 ohm, connect them in series. You can make 50 ohm resistors. So, we can increase the resistance by connecting them in what? Series. This derivation is important. We will ask it for the exam. So, idea is very simple. Once again, in series combination, the idea which you have to keep it in your mind is, in series combination, the current will be the same. Through all the resistors, current is same. But... Since resistance are different, voltage will be different. We are adding those voltage, just applying the formula, Ohm's law formula, equating. That's what. So, I hope the series combination is very clear. There is no doubt in series combination, R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus etc. Got it? Yes. Now, let's check other way of connection. For that, again, we are going to take the three resistors, R1, R2, R3. Let's see how. Okay. Again, resistance of a system of resistors. First resistance, R1 is ready, R2, R3. Here, you just look at the way how I am going to connect them.
This is our next combination. What do you understand? The first end of left end of all three resistors are connected to a common point. Common point. The other ends of all three resistors are connected to another common point. It's not, not like one end other resistor and other. It's not like series. This is called what? Parallel combination. One end of all the resistors are connected to a common point. Other ends of all the resistors are connected to another common point. Then we can say that these resistors are connected in parallel. Got it? Yes. Now in the same way like in previous circuit, we are going to take a cell and we are going to make a circuit. Look at this. So from that first common end, we are connecting to positive terminal and to the negative. When the circuit is shown, surely the current will be flowing. Again, we can assume the total current as what? I. So I current is starting from the positive terminal. It's going like this. Through the combination, current will be flowing and the same I current will be coming back. Okay. Starts from positive and inset negative. But dear students, an important point. Do you remember in our last discussion, that means the series combination, we made a very important point. In series combination, current is same. Here, this is which combination? Parallel combination. In parallel combination, voltage will be same because all these are connected parallel to the cell. Okay, so here, if the applied voltage is V, V is the potential difference offered by the cell, then since all these resistors are connected across this one, the voltage across all three will be same as what? V. This is the point. Once again, I am pointing out in series combination, current is same. In parallel combination, voltage is same. Voltage is same. So here, what is the voltage across R1 means? I can say it is V. R2 is V. R3 is also V. Total is V. Okay. But which one will be different? Since the resistors are different, the current through each resistors will be different. I current is coming. But here, this is a junction. You can see from there, there are three ways for the current to flow. The current which is reaching here, three different paths are there. In series combination, there is no such possibility. There is only one path. That's why the current is same. But here, three different paths are there, which means the current will be different. Let us assume current through the top, R1 as what? I1. I1 is the current through the first one. Through the second resistor, we can take the current as what? I2. And through the third resistor, we are going to take the current as uh, I3. So this current is i3 it's not i2 the current is what i3 okay yes so i1 i2 i3 are the currents through r1 r2 r3 respectively now once again what is our aim our aim is to get the equivalent resistance let us assume the equivalent resistance or the effective resistance as r so we can make another circuit it's the same circuit only but what is the only difference see applied voltage is v current is i the same circuit, but only one difference is what? Instead of showing three resistors, we are just showing only what? Only one resistor here. That is R. Alright? Yes. Now, here you can apply Ohm's law. What will be the result? Ohm's law, if you are applying V is equal to what? IR. V is equal to IR. Here also we are going to say apply the same result, the same format that we are following. But the difference is here current is different. Applied current is what? I. But it is I1, I2 and I3. That means the current I splits into what? 3. So what we can write about the total current? I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. This is the total current. I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Okay, now what is I, dear students? From this V is equal to I R, we can write I equal to what? V by R. I is equal to V by R. Then what will be I1? I1. I1 will be equal to, what is the voltage across R1? It's V. I told you voltage is same across everyone. So since I equal to V by R, I1 will be equal to what? V by R1. I2 will be equal to what? V by R2. I3 will be equal to V by R3. So look at the formula. V by R. I equal to V by R equal to V by R1 plus V by R2 plus V by R3. Got it? V by R3. V is common in all the terms. Cancelled out. Look at the result. 
1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3. This is the formula for calculating what? Total resistance. So first we need to add this one. We will get 1 by r. That's not r. We'll get 1 by r. Then take the reciprocal to find what? r. So in parallel combination, how to calculate the total resistance means we can say that 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3. Understood or not? Yes. So, if you are comparing series combination and parallel combination, what is the difference? In series combination, if you are connecting resistors in series, the total resistance will be added up R1 plus R2 plus R3. That means the resistance will increase. But at the same time, if you are connecting them in parallel, since it is 1 by R equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3, what you can see is the effective resistance will decrease. So, in parallel combination, resistance will decrease. In series combination, resistance will increase. Derivation is important. So, the point which you have to remember when you are studying this derivation is in series combination current is same, in parallel combination voltage is same. So, in series combination derivation we just added V equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 but here we are writing I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Then just applying the Ohm's law format formula, mathematical formula will get the result. So, once again in series combination the formula is R equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Parallel combination the resistance can be calculated as 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. I think this topic is very clear. The combination of resistors or resistors or resistance of a system of resistors in both series and parallel combination. Very important deriv derivation, very important formulas. Okay. So, practice this derivation again and again until it is clear for you. Okay.